Hi, how can we link partial payments to the invoices in SAP ERP? Or how can we post taxes to the net amount instead of the gross amount? Or how can we display and change the document type when posting financial transactions? These are all parts of the accounting editing options that I'm going to explain in the video today. I am also going to demonstrate the most important ones. So this is a very important video to anyone who is working with the financial accounting module in SAP ERP. So be sure to watch the video until the end. Before we start, you should know that the accounting editing options are user specific, which means anything you try is only going to impact your user ID. So you have complete freedom to try everything I show in this video. It is not going to impact anything on the system or anything in the other user IDs. So how can we access the accounting editing options? The first way is to go through the transaction, which is FB00. So these are the accounting editing options. Now, if you check the tabs, you have document entry options, document display, open items, line items, credit management, payment advices, and cash journal. And each tab is going to impact certain transactions depending on what is done with the transaction. So this one, the document entry, it's going to impact all the document entry transactions, such as the invoice posting transaction or the payment posting transaction. You can also open the editing options related to each transaction from the transaction itself. So for example, I'm going to try with the transaction to post the supplier invoices that I have dem demonstrated before. So the transaction ID is FB60. So this is the transaction to post a supplier invoice without reference to a purchase order. And if you check here, you have the editing options. So you can also click here and it is only going to display the related options to this transaction. So it is only showing the document entry. So just to show you the difference, I'm going to switch between the windows. So this one shows everything FB00 and this one that I opened from the specific transaction is only showing the uh, options related to the transaction itself. So now I'm going to demonstrate some very important options here that everyone is actually asking about. So for example, now if I want to display the document type, so if I go back to the transaction here, you see that I have my document type displayed and this is not the default setting. The default setting is that you cannot find the document type. Now let's assume that you have a specific business transaction or a process in your company in which you need to use a different document type. If you go to the editing options and check this box here, so it can be ready for input, it can be only displayed and it can be hidden. This is the default setting. So if you check in your system and you cannot find this one, then because this is the option that is already selected, so you can change it. So I'm going to choose uh, number two, document type ready for input here. Then click on save, go back, so see, now it is ready for input, which means I can select other document types. So you can use it any way you like. The other very important option that you have to know is the tax calculation. So let's assume that I'm going to post an invoice now and the tax percent is 10%. So I'm going to choose this one, input tax 10%. And then this is the vendor I'm going to work with, number 1000. You can choose any vendor. And here in the GL account, I'm going to choose any GL for this one, for example. And now let's say that I'm paying, for example, rent to this vendor. So the rent is for 10,000 uh, euros. Yeah, 10,000 euros plus 10% 10 taxes. So I should pay 11,000 euros to the vendor. So if I come here and I put 10,000 for the set for the rent and hit enter. Now it is only asking me to pay 10,000 to the vendor. Why? because the default setting in SAP is to assume that the taxes is a part of the total amount. So if, if I click on calculate tax here, and then I put 10,000, then if you click on simulate, see, SAP has expected that this, the rent is only for 9,090 and the taxes is 909. And this all depends on how, how you like to process your invoice when you are posting the transaction. So each accountant can be different. Someone would like to put the total amount and the taxes will be above this amount. 
Another person would like to put an amount and the tax would be included in the amount. It all depends on the person who is working with the system. So if I want to change this option and I want SAP to always add the 10% above the amount that I insert. So if I go back and go to editing options, see here there's the calculate taxes on net amount, this one. So once I hit save, and then go back to the transaction. Now see, SAP has asked me to enter another 1,000. So the total amount I pay to the vendor is 11,000 USD, which is 10,000 for the rent plus 1,000 taxes. So this is how you change the tax calculation from gross to net amounts. The other option I would like to show you is uh, some options related to foreign exchange, for example. And as you see, it is very simple to see the impact. You can see it instantly. So once you check any option here and save and go check the screen, it's going to be there. And once you save, this option will be saved forever until you change it. So it is not something that you do every time. This is something that you do once and it will be there forever. And again, this is only for the user ID that you are using. It is not going to impact anyone else. So uh, there is a very important field here documents only in local currency. So for example, I am an accountant that only works with local vendors and I never post any foreign currency documents. And to eliminate the possibility that uh, I may do a mistake one time and put another currency, I can select this one. And then if I save and go back, as you see, the currency field is dimmed. So now I cannot change it. It will always be the local currency of the company code. Let me show you the other uh, the other things. So if I remove it and save, go back, still there. Now uh, let me refresh the window. Cancel. Okay. See now it is uh, it is available for input, which means I can choose another currency. So this is the option to make you able to put another currency or to disable it. So these are other two that you can use for foreign exchange. Now the advice I have for you is go through each field of these. Then once you uh, click here and press on F1 for help, SAP is going to, do, to display the help window. You can also right click and select help if you want. So uh, I really advise you guys to go through all the options here and try to hit F1, check the help and see how this is going to impact because this can help you a lot. Uh, there is also another very important one that I want to show you, which is mm, this one. Uh, documents must be complete for parking. So, for example, in some companies, parking a document is an authorization method, which means once I park a document, my manager is going to go and check the document and either approve or reject it. And I don't want to submit any wrong documents to my manager. Uh, whenever I submit a document or whenever we, I park a document, I want to be sure that the document is complete without mistakes. So if you want this, you have to check this option because the standard setting, if I go back, the standard setting is even if I put uh, a missing entry. So for example, let's say 1000 here and the vendor number 1000. So now the entry is not complete. I still have to enter an expense item or an inventory item. So this is why we have a balance of 1000 and it is red. I cannot post it. But if I click on park, the document has been parked. So this can be an issue for you depending on how you use parking in your company. So if you want parking to be only available for complete documents, then go to editing options and select document must be complete for parking. So if I do this, save, go back. Now I'm going to post an incomplete document. So the vendor 1000 amount is also 1000 and then Leave the currency the same. Now, if I try to park this document, first of all, the option to park is not here. It has been removed. So the only option you have now is save as completed. And the park is dimmed. Why? Because I have asked SAP to not allow me to park any document unless it is completed. So now if I click on save as completed, it's going to give you an error that posting is only possible with a zero balance correct document. So if I correct the document here, so uh, enter a line item, Amount is also 1000. Uh, insert correct tax codes in here. On I, for example, here. Calculate taxes. So now if I go to document, save as completed, 
it says document was parked. So this is how you can force yourself to only be able to park complete documents. Now the other options we have here, uh, there is nothing else that I think is very important I need to show you. So uh, all you have to do now is to go through the rest of the options and check them using, using the SAP help or you can try them yourself the same way I did. Now the other window I'm going to show you, so I'm going to go back to FB00, this one. So document entry we have checked. Now I'm going to show you the uh, document display one. This one is also useful. So you can say that whenever I display a document, I can choose the document using the reference number. This is a very useful option because as we said before, the reference number for invoices, we use it to put the external invoice number that we received from the vendor. So for example, let me show you how this works. Now, if I go to transaction FB03 to display a document, this one. Now see, you have to enter the document number and the company code and the year. But if I check on reference number, this one, then save. And then I'm going to open the transaction again so we can see the changes. See, now you can choose the document using the reference number, which is a very useful uh, field. So for example, if the vendor is asking you to display a document in your system for his invoice, so you can put the invoice number here, the external vendor invoice number here, and it's going to show you the SAP document number. Uh, the other options we have, you can also go to the uh, display document options from here, same as we did for the supplier invoice. So if you go here, it's going to show you the same thing we have in FB00. There are also other options. I encourage you to go and check them yourself. Now, if I go to uh, open items, this is a very, very important one. And many people are actually complaining about some of the options here. So uh, one of the issues we have that we always receive questions for is whenever we do a partial payment for a supplier invoice, and then we go again to the uh, clearing transaction, there is no way to link between the partial payment and the invoice. So you actually have no visibility on what you already paid from the invoice. I'm going to show you an example now to clarify this part. So for example, the transaction to pay supplier invoices is F-53. If you are going to pay a single invoice uh, with clearing. So I'm going to open this transaction. Now uh, let's assume I'm going to make a payment for 10,000 euros, for example. So this is the date, a bank account number is this one, and I'm going to pay 10,000, and the vendor I'm going to pay is 1,000. Then hit enter. So now this is the screen for the all the open items we have for the vendor. So let's assume that I'm going to pay a part of this very big invoice for 580,000 euros. I'm going to pay 1,000 of this invoice. So uh, first of all, I have to deactivate all the other items because you see now the items are all selected. If you double click, it is deactivated. Now you can go one by one and deactivate them, which can take you hours or you can select uh, select all here and then click on deactivate items. So now all the items are deactivated. Now, one of the options we have in editing options is that you can actually have them deactivated automatically once you open the transaction. So this can save you a lot of time. So if you go to editing options here, same, so you can see the, tra the options we have in FB00 for this transaction, and then you can select selected items initially inactive. So if you select this one, whenever you open the transaction again, all the open items will be in unselected until you select some of them. Save, go back. Now, as I said, I'm going to pay only 1,000 out of 580,000. So go to partial payments. And I'm going to double click on this item to select it. And the payment amount is 1,000. Or 10,000, I'm sorry. So 10,000. So now I am paying 10,000 out of 580,000. Now, if I save, so I have paid the vendor 10,000. Now, if I go back again to the same screen, you should expect that SAP shows that we have already paid 10,000 out of 580. And the default setting is no, SAP is not going to show you this part. So for, let me show you uh, what I mean exactly. So if I go again to the same vendor, 1,000, 
And let's say I'm going to pay 5,000 this time, enter. Go to partial payments. So as you see, first of all, all the items are inactive because we have selected the option in the editing options. Now go to partial payments and there is no way SAP is telling me that I have already paid 10,000, which is an issue because now as an accountant, I really want to know that this invoice is not for 580. I have already paid 10,000 out of this. So to display the link between the partial payment and the invoice, go to editing options and select include invoice reference. Very simple. Select here and then save. Once you go back, you see SAP has added a column say it partially paid amount and you also have this sign if you click here so it is saying that we have paid 1000 in 28th of january we have paid another 1000 in 28th of january and we have already paid uh, 10000 on 13 on 3rd of december which is today so this is our payment so now you see as an accountant i can see that this is an invoice for 580 I have already paid 14,000 and the remaining amount is 566. And this option is very useful uh, and it causes a lot of issues to anyone who doesn't know about it. Now, if I go back to editing options to see the other options. So these are the most important ones I want to show you here. I also encourage you again to go through the rest of the options yourself. So I'm going to go back to FB00. Let me get out of here first. So cancel, cancel, yes. So I'm going to go back to FB00, this transaction. So now I have showed you also the open items tab. So now we have seen the document entry, document display, open items. Another very important one, line items. So uh, line items is whenever you display a line item report, such as the vendor open items or the vendor uh, line items. So I'm going to display the report for vendor line items slash OFBL1N. This is the transaction, okay. Now let's assume I'm going to display the open items for the vendor uh, that I'm working with, 1000. And I want to display all the open items I have, so click on execute. So these are all the open items. Now whenever I double click on a document, it shows me the overview of the document. So it's showing me the debits and the credits. Why? And by the way, this is not the default option. So why? Because in the editing options here, I have selected that whenever I item selection go to, whenever I double click on a line, it goes to the document overview. Now the default setting is line item, this one. So if I save, go back. Now I'm going to double click again on the line. It is showing me only the line item. And if I want to display the whole document, I have to click on the overview here. And this actually annoys me a lot because usually whenever I try to display a document in the line items, I want to see the debits and the credits to understand why I have this amount. So if you want to do this, all you have to do is to select document overview here. Also the report itself you can display in classic list or grid control. You can try them. It is very easy. And there are other options that are very important, but I'm not going to go into them now because they are going to confuse you a lot. Uh, specifically this one, the branch head office dialog. I will try to go more into details about this one when I explain the accounts receivable cycle. So this is done for line items. You also have cash management, payment advice, cash journal. They are important, but not as important as, as the first ones. So I'm not going to waste more of your time with this. Uh, if you want to know the details of these options, again, you can go to any uh, field and you can right click and then click help or you can press F1 and it is going to show you the SAP help. So this is it for the accounting editing options. This is very important to anyone working with accounting, uh, with accounting uh, in SAP. So please share it with anyone you know that is using SAP for accounting and also uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, leave me, leave me your comments, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I really appreciate your interaction because this motivates me to continue posting other videos. And thank you for watching. I will see you again next week. Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, follow me on LinkedIn, 
and also helping me by sharing the videos so other people can find them.